So once you enroll in this class, this is what you're going to see. Uh, there's going to be a breakdown to your left. Uh, so all this class, the entire class is divided into sections. Uh, you will start with a watercolor paper and this is uh, where I'm going to talk about what paper I used in this painting, what I recommend. Uh, this is a cold press, 140 pounds. I used here a large sheet of uh, watercolor paper block. And there is a video, you just scroll down uh, and you can press play. So you just press play here and I start talking about it. Um, you can fast forward, you can move to the next uh, section here. And then once you reach uh, the end, uh, it skips to the next uh, section of this uh, class. So now I'm going to talk about reference photo. So this is the reference photo I used for the main sea turtle painting. You just press play and I will be talking here about the reference photo and also colors that I'm going to use for the background. And again, you can fast forward and you can keep moving uh, to the end. You can also, there's things I wrote about the art masking fluid. In this uh, class, you have an option to use art masking fluid for watercolors to cover some of these uh, white spots. You don't have to worry about it. Although in this uh, sea turtle, uh, painting class, I will not be using art masking fluid to mark these white spots. I will have a video to show you how to do it. Uh, it's going to be uh, exercise video number five, the underwater. So then you just keep going down. You can uh, download the reference photo, complete and continue. Uh, next section is about watercolor brushes. And this is, uh, this, these are the brushes that I used in this painting. And of course you have an up here when you scroll down, these are the brushes that you need for this painting and you do not have to have the same brushes that I use. So this is where I explain like round brushes four and six or eight are for the sea turtle, uh, for the body of the sea turtle. Then the flat one and a half or one inch or three quarters is to wet the background and paint the background. So I kind of explain which brush is uh, for what, like round small one is for the smaller details, like when we will be painting uh, the eye of the sea turtle. And then, um, um, so here you just press play and I talk about the about watercolor brushes in general and about the brushes that uh, I was using in this painting and the alternatives that you can use as well. And then complete and continue. And here I talk about watercolor paints. I share with you color swatches. These are Holbein watercolors versus Winsor Newton. And then... Holbein versus Schwinka. So if you paint with Schwinka, you, you would go here and see, okay, Maria used horizon blue and cobalt turquoise lights, so I could probably use cobalt turquoise. And then you go to the next section, um, exercise one, sea turtle skin. So this is how basically I was painting the, um, the skin um, on the face of the sea turtle. And I explained about it here. Uh, you can fast forward what brush I use, what colors, how to create these patches. I am going to show you um, how we can paint uh, this turtle's face here. Uh, it's divided into these sections. Um, and the way we're gonna paint it in our main painting, we're gonna wet this whole area. Less water here. There is water. There's always has to be, there always has to be water. And just dropping over this wet area. Just like here, we have it in the photograph. And some parts are going to be like going all the way to the edge because that's going to be the end of the sea turtle's head. So just with a wet brush, how to create these patches. And then you can pause again. Uh, you can also go from the left side. You don't have to press complete and continue here top right, but you can go to the left and just press on the next exercise video. For example, exercise four, wet on wet or, uh, or wet on dry. Uh, and also blending technique. So you just press play and then here I explain what's the difference between wet on dry and wet on wet and also how you can blend colors like this one here. This is quinacridone red with Mars violet. Um, and also another one is uh, wet on wet and how you can add additional colors on top of your wet layer. So then uh, when we're getting closer, um, Actually, first is uh, we're going to have the exercise five, and this is the reference photo for exercise five. Then you click next, and these are the swatches, paints, uh, paper I use for the exercise. You don't have to match any of this. And these are the screenshots that I grab. Uh, these, I believe, help you to follow better what colors I am going for next. Um, so you see exactly what colors are on my palette. And as I mix also these colors, it might get more complicated. Um, and then there's underwater painting close-up photos in case you want to see um, 
what this looks like and then painting process so it's divided into two sections so first I talk about the reference photo again and then uh, how I'm going to approach it um, basically this is the moment when uh, where I will be showing you two ways to do it I guess you can do it with the art masking fluid or without it and this video here will show you how you can do it with the art masking fluid and here is uh, when I start painting the background of course you can pause it you can just click on the next video exercise 5 part 2 we can go right away to the three minutes of and this is the sec second section Section, and then you can just fast forward again and then next thing um, what's the next complete and continue uh, and then we're going to the main painting so this is where the sea turtle painting starts uh, this is first the reference photo you can download it right here then complete complete and continue here are the pencil sketches so you also uh, you also have an option to create this pencil sketch with me so I have divided this video into four, I believe four sections. It's about half hour, maybe 40 minutes to create, to complete this sketch. Um, I have close-ups, everything you, you need to see how I create this pencil sketch. You can follow along and I highly recommend that you do because creating a pencil sketch really helps uh, getting better uh, painting with watercolors. You have an option uh, also to download these pencil sketches. So these are my pencil sketches. You have a light version and then you have a dark version. And then you have a Photoshop version if you want to do something else with it. And then complete and continue. And then this is where I add a washi tape and I have a video, uh, what I do with this tape. And I talk about it, uh, what happens. And then color swatches for the sea turtle. So you don't have to match. So don't worry if you don't paint with whole point watercolors. That's why I create these color swatches so you can try to match with what you already have. And then you just keep scrolling down you have more of this you can download these color swatches as well then the next section is creating a palette for the background so these are this is the screenshot of the palette so you know exactly where the colors are and then you just hit play and this is how i create the uh, my palette for the painting so i squeeze the fresh paint and mix it with water and then the next section colors on my palette so you can download these again you have five of them and then painting process so I divided this painting process into basic so it's four sections here painting process parts 1 to 6 7 to 12 13 18 and then 19 to 22 uh, each section is 50 minutes I guess 67 8 68 and this one is about 50 minutes this is um, the main painting this is where we start painting the background um, I talk about it, how we can do it. Paper towel is right here. But first, I'm going to open up the palette. I'm going to use a larger brush, like a 10, round 10 by silver brush. This is Black Velvet series. And I am going to add water to my watercolors. Just a drip of water here. Mix this paint with water. So it's ready to go when I'm ready to start painting. I went from horizon to cobalt turquoise blue. They're very similar and I'm going to mix them anyway together. So I might as well mix them here a little bit. Not all the way, but, but for now we're going to wet this background. So I'm going to grab a, a wider brush. This is a uh, one and a half series black velvet. By silver brush you don't need the exact same one you just want a wider brush to spread the water easier and faster so this is smaller brush smaller brush I'm going to use for uh, wetting the parts closer to the turtle because I have more control when I'm using a smaller brush uh, you can go slow uh, you can fast forward you can slow down you can pause and also you can come back to it later although if you're already painting the background wet on wet I recommend to finish first this layer and once you, I do say okay let's let it dry that's when you can walk away and you don't have to come back to it till um, so you have more time. So that's that. Then you press next, um, adding another layer. I indicate that too. And then we go next. I talk about it the whole thing the entire time. And then you have all these sections here. Then you have screenshots of the palettes. Then you have painting process parts uh, 7, 12, 13, 18, 19, 22. And then there's the next part, which is removing paint from the white 
frame. So what happens is when I add the washi tape, sometimes it doesn't stick all the way and that's the thing. It's, it's a very gentle washi tape. <laughs> and so sometimes paint bleeds underneath. And what I do is I just grab a brush and I um, dip it in water and try to remove it. So I'm gonna be showing this uh, here as well. And then, so just press play, I guess, if you wanna see this. These are close-up photos of my painting. So you can uh, study that too. If you wanna see all the strokes, uh, everything, how I paint. And as you can see, not I, I'm, I'm detailed, but not that detailed. Um, I just focus on certain things and everything else is more like a splash of water. <laughs> and then we go complete and continue. And this is it. This is where I say, congratulations. You just completed this watercolor sea turtle painting class. So this is where I ask you to share your painting with me because I would love to add it to uh, our student art wall. And this is the student art wall on my website where I share my students' uh, work from the previous paintings. So I hope you'll enroll in this school and uh, I'll see you there.